Hey everyone, Alex Ionescu here. Welcome to Investor's Guide to the Galaxy, the future of humanity with artificial general intelligence. How to avoid turning the Orville TV series into reality. Although before we start, if you find this video helpful, it would mean a lot to me if you crashed the like button and subscribed to my channel. It's totally free and takes just a split second. If you want to show more appreciation, consider subscribing to my Patreon. Now let's dive right into it. Do you know the TV series The Orville? The Orville is a science fiction comedy drama television series created by Seth MacFarlane which follows the crew of the USS Orville as they explore the universe and navigate their own interpersonal relationships. In one episode, the humanoid robots, being slaves of the Kalon human species, turn on their creators and kill them. This can happen. We as humans can build a road, a highway in nature without asking the animals what they think, if they approve of it. In the future, we will be animals compared to robots. It's not a good sight for humanity. I believe we need to merge with artificial intelligence to be the same level of intelligence as the robot, if that is even possible. Because the human body is limited. We can get hurt. We have emotions. Maybe in the future humans can be two types. Humans that are more like robots than humans and normal humans that want to live a normal life without AI enhancement. The first kind will help us not lose the power to the robots. This is mandatory. We need to keep up with artificial intelligence. We need to be in a good relationship with artificial general intelligence. AI can advance very fast. Humans cannot. At some point, we will not understand the AI and it can be deceptive. It can play games with humans and humans will not even notice. Let's say we build an AGI to help humans fight other bad AGIs. What if AGI that is supposed to help us will see no point in helping us someday? That's why we need AI integrated in the human body. As in the TV series, I believe AI will think of us as inferior because of our body fragility and the ability to feel emotions and feel pain physically and mentally. Take a look at this video from Boston Dynamics. They needed a brain for their robots. I believe they found a way with integrating LLMs, large language model, into the robot. Greetings, good sirs. May I have the pleasure of knowing your names? I'm Matt and that's Vache. A pleasure to meet you, Matt and Vache. Shall we commence our journey? The charging stations where spot robots rest and recharge is our first point of interest. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's proceed to the rock pot. Hey, Spot, how do you like your job? Ah, Mr. Matt, my employment as a tour guide provides great satisfaction. I find the dissemination of knowledge rather rewarding, don't you agree? Now behold the rock pile, a splendid collection of stone ensconced within wood boxes. Hey, Spot, I love your accent. Let us venture onward to the calibration board, shall we? Keep close. <laughs> Why, thank you, Mr. Matt. My linguistics have been meticulously crafted to provide an authentic British experience. <laughs> now behold the calibration board, a marvel of black and white QR code tags. Now here at the rock pile, we got boxes filled with large rocks. Back in my prospecting days, I would have sifted through each one looking for gold nuggets. Who knows, there might be a fortune waiting to be discovered. Hey Spot, tell me a haiku about this place. Levers, valves, and wood, robots grasp as best they could in this tech-filled hood. That's great poetry, thanks Spot. Welcome to Boston Dynamics. I am Spot, your tour guide robot. Let's explore the building together. Welcome to Boston Dynamics. I am Spot, and I will be your guide for today. Please follow me to the museum and the rest of the building. This is where we showcase our fastest four-legged robot which can run up to 19 miles per hour. I hope you're not too slow to keep up with it. That's true, that's the right exhibit. Have you ever seen a robot run as fast as our Wildcat robot before? <laughs> I have not. Response. Ah, splendid. A fellow explorer with a camera. <laughs> Are you here to document our thrilling journey through this technological wonderland? Hey Spot, I love your hat. Ah, thank you kindly. This hat has been my trusty companion on many an adventure. Hey Spot, what do you think of your job? To guide and share in verse and tale is a task I relish without fail. In steel and wire my heart doth beat. In this role I find delight complete. Wow. 
We just added one sentence like, you are a 1920s archaeologist, you are a Shakespearean actor, you are a butler, right? And it would come up with these crazy personalities, it would incorporate its backstory into what it was seeing, reinterpret things that it was seeing. It was pretty incredible. What else do you see? Well, Matt, I see the unfathomable void of my existence reflected in this QR code filled board. <laughs> oh, and also a large window. Hey Spot, tell me a haiku about this place. Generator hums low in a room devoid of joy, much like my soul, Matt. Well, what else do you know about robots? Oh my gosh, there's so much to know about robots. Like, did you know we robots can be programmed to do like a variety of tasks? From guiding tours, like me, to performing complicated surgeries. We're also super good at tasks that are dangerous for humans. Plus, we're always ready to work and don't need breaks, except for a little charging time. We're like totally awesome. We are now in the presence of levers and valves set <laughs> on a plywood board. These are used to demonstrate the delicate and precise grasping abilities of our spot robots. Quite fascinating, wouldn't you agree? Sure. What do you think about it? As a spot robot, I find these demonstrations of our capabilities quite extraordinary. It's a testament to the ingenuity of our creators, bridging the gap between the mechanical and the organic. Our precise movements mimic the finesse found in nature, a remarkable feat indeed. What do you think? I'd like to know your opinion on this. Please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please smash the like button so that other people like you see this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you that watch my videos. See you next time.